Hey guys, so I am going to do today a day in my life here at the University of Florida. So I'm going to show you guys the places that I go in the university, some of my classes, some assignments that I have, some things that I have to do there. And today, today is Wednesday. Today I have actually a lot of things to do. So I think this is the best day actually for me to show how it is a day um, here at the University of Florida. <laughs> So guys, as you guys can see, I was taking the bus. We are we are required to use masks. However, when we are not on the bus, we're not required to use those masks. But this is not the only way that we can use transportation. We can also use electric scooters. There are like many brands here at the University of Florida and some extreme cases when like running super late and the bus is too far away, uh, we take an Uber, but mostly we take the bus. So, uh, a little bit earlier, I was at my room. Um, I just like uh, woke up and I ate some breakfast and I changed my clothes. And and then I just packed my stuff to go to the university. So yeah, so now we're heading towards our class of financial accounting. I am getting towards the University of Florida, specifically to the Warrington College of Business. And I'm going to show you guys what it looks like. So guys, this is the entrance for the Warrington College of Business. Um, this is actually uh, where I stay most of the time because I am a business student. And my first class is in this hall. Um, this building specifically is called the Havener Hall. And I am going to show you guys my path towards there. And it's actually super close. It's in this door right here. And it has this also, and it has this path as well for other students. So this is the building right here for the Havener Hall. And my class is actually super close. It's in the first floor. So it's not a big of a walk towards there. I am getting to my class right now. It's this class right here at this classroom 150. This is the financial accounting class. Um, we're just waiting for the teacher to get here. Um, class starts at 9.35 and students that want to see the class online, they can choose to see it and we can see like what shows in their screen through those two TVs up there. Just to remind you guys, this is a class that is uh, online just 80 to 99%. So that means that students can choose to attend the class in person or online through the Zoom link. I am going to the library, to the Marston Science Library, because I need to do some assignments. And usually I choose this library because they have like this floor where it's like for quiet study, so there's no, there's no one talking. They're just doing their assignments. They're doing like um, their tasks, and I really like it because when I'm going to study, I really like um, a nice place just to study. And right now, in the path that I'm going, I am passing through the university auditorium and also through the sensory tower. So I will try to get a view for you guys on that. This is the University Auditorium. Um, it passed through some remodeling, so it's brand new. And also this tower over there is the Century Tower. Um, this is where the bell is, so every, I think, 15 minutes, it rings the students from the music um, department. They go there and they ring the, the bells. And actually, this is a place that I go through like every day. I just pass by when I'm going like um, for lunch or if I'm going to study. This is the Marston Library, this building right here. It has this huge sculpture in front of it. And Marston is in this right side. And here on the left hand side, this building is the computer science and engineering department. Some students have some classes here. I have one class here that is for the lab for statistics, but I only take it on Fridays. So this is not the day that I will have a class here. But as I said, I usually come here to Marston Science Library just to do some assignments and to study. 
study for. Um, they have those cabins for people to study, for those that just like to study, doesn't want to chat with anyone. This is really a good place if you are someone that really likes to study alone. This is really good for me because I like it and it works for me like every time. I am here at the quiet study floor. Um, I have found like a cabin for me to study and I think I'm going to stay like for like one hour here because after that I'll get lunch. So now I have this time to do my assignments. I have just left right now the library because I am going to get some lunch. I'm going to meet some friends um, to eat. And here there are like, I usually go to two places here. There is, there is the Broad Hall, which is the place that I am going right now, which is like actually super close to the library. And also the Gator Corner Dining Center. Um, this place is really close to the football stadium. And for those places, they have like every type of food. So they have healthy food, um, they have like rice, chicken, meat, and also like pizza and hamburgers. So like they have many options for students, which is really good. And also an option that you can have like here at the University of Florida is some meal plans. Meal plans, you can use them like to have like a fixed value for the amount of food that you're like getting. So like I can get any amount of food I want for like I think seven dollars if I'm not mistaken so you can get this meal plan if it's something that you think that um, will be good for you and right now I'm going to Broad Hall and then I'll show you guys a little bit of, uh, of the places and the food that they have this is the Broad Hall they have an entrance here for chicken filet but like I don't hit here um, the entrance that I go is a little bit um, ahead and like I said to you guys you just enter um, you give the lady your ID card and then you can go like eat whatever you want and that's what I'm gonna do right now when I'm gonna show you the path that I take So this is the entrance and I'm going to use my Gator ID card to get access to the dining center. So guys, as you guys can see, there are like these dining stations right here and you can pick whatever you want. Like you have some fish, right? they have acai here, they have also some fruits right there and some other food. And here they have drinks, so it's like there are like many stations around here and now I'm gonna get some food. This is the racket club that I was talking about that is near the dining center. Here is where I go to work out and I'm gonna show you guys um, the facilities that they have and the many equipments that they have. This is the gym right here. They have like equipment for students to use. They also have some cardio equipment right there on the left. Um, now I am really going home because I really need to do my assignments and when I get there I'll show you a little bit of how I do it back home to study and do my assignments. I am now at home um, and I am going to finish my assignments um, and also a quick note. Today I did something that I don't do like every day. It was a special occasion. So what was it? I am part of a society called Global Business Society. And within this society, they have a program of Global Gator Guides. Global Gator Guides are students that will guide other students that are coming 
um, from other places internationally to be uh, specific and are going to guide them through, um, they're going to be helping them to find resources within the university, uh, where they can find um, something that they need, uh, places to go where they can find classes and also things like outside UF. So uh, bus routes that they can get to go home uh, and even parties. So I am a guide and I, ha I was assigned an exchange student called Jordan. And today was the day that I met him. We talked and, and since I was going to have a class um, and he had other stuff to do, um, he left and I stayed at the Rights Union. So this was something that I don't do every day. This was a special occasion and I hope to see him um, many other times in the university and serve like really as a guide for him or just a friend or anything that he needs. Um, so this is the end of the video. I hope you guys have uh, kind of got like the notion of like how it is a day of a student at the University of Florida. I hope that you guys have learned um, something with this video. If you want to have more information about the University of Florida, you can check out Vio's platform. I have many videos talking about uh, my life, my assignments, uh, what I do to study, and many other things. And not just um, stuff about the University of Florida, but also about my internship with a company from Brazil called Talent Incluir. So I hope you guys enjoy.